Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in this video we are going to look at a coding problem which is finding the dislike and uh, it is one of the questions of Wipro and LTH examination. So if you are preparing for it then make sure to watch this video till the end and also you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. The links are also mentioned for our telegram channel in the description box below. Go check it out and you can also experience the quizzes which we ask uh, on a day-to-day -day basis so let's get started in this video the question is to find a number which does not fit in the given sequence of numbers and we need to print the position of the number in the list we need to use the one based indexing for returning the answer and it is guaranteed that one number exists which satisfy the above condition so now let's look at the input and the output the input is uh, having the t number of test cases and there will be first n number in the list so there will be a number n and then following it there will be n numbers of elements in the array so we need to output the number which does not fit in the given list of numbers the sample input and output is as follows so first we have t the number of test cases so that will be 2 in this case following which we have 6 which is the number that number of elements in our list and then we have 6 numbers 4 2 8 6 1 2 Similarly for 7 we have 7 numbers and the output is 5 and 3 respectively. Now in this case uh, as you can see that uh, we have 5 and 3 as the output. So let's look at the explanation why is it the case. So the values are 4, 2, 8, 6, 1 and 2 where only 1 is odd among the uh, following numbers. So its index in one based indexing is 5. Similar is the case for the number 4 in case of the second input where the index of the number 4 in one based indexing will be 3 so as you can see that one based indexing is used so you have to print the index of the number which is not alike in the given list so you need to print the index of the number which is at the uh, position uh, the odd number which is at the particular position or else the condition can be the other ways wherein the numbers are odd and there will be one number which is even so you need to print the index of that number now to solve this problem you need to understand some concepts since it is an intermediate kind of a problem there are some concepts which you need to have a look upon first of them is the bit manipulation you need to know how you can manipulate the bits secondly you need the knowledge of binary numbers and represent the numbers in binary format so for example we say the number 2 is represented as 1 0 and the number 3 is represented as 1 1 in a similar manner you should have the knowledge about it and third is the binary operations so or and and not are some kind of operations following which we have different variants of these uh, operations so here we have three different bullet points uh, wherein i am talking about the and operation because in this problem we need the operation we will use the concept of changing our numbers into zeros and ones for even and odd numbers respectively so one example here is that in case of the number 14 when represented in a binary format you know that the number 14 can be represented as triple one zero and the number 15 can be represented as uh, four times one so you know that uh, a number ending with an even digit always has its unit digit as zero and a number ending with the odd digit always have its unit digit as one in the representation of a binary number the similar concept is going to be used in this problem so uh, the operation of an even number with one wherein we are performing and operation will always result in a zero at the uh, place and if the operation is being done with the number which is odd number then in that case the output will be one so that is the concept which we are going to use so what will be our approach our approach will be pretty simple what we are going to do is we simply take the input of the numbers in a list and then we convert these numbers into zeros and ones so if a list of numbers contains all of them as zeros and one of them as one which means that the number at that position will be the odd one out so we can print it in a similar manner if all the numbers are one and there is a single number which is changed to zero then we know that that is the odd one out in the group and so we need to print the index however the index needs to be one based but we won't apply a different logic for each of the case we will do the same thing and it will handle both the cases so uh, let's look at how we can achieve this so the same question is written here and we need to first uh, start by handling the input so let's first handle the input for the given question so we are taking the t number of test cases in the first line that is the line number 20 and then we have a number n following which we have a list which will be the uh, list of numbers which we are getting and obviously they are in uh, integer format so 
we take them as an integer format number and we use the split function so this is very much clear from our previous examples as well and uh, let's define a function which will handle everything which we are doing here so i define a function say answer and the uh, value of the uh, list which we created is passed as a parameter in this function so now let's define the function which we talked about so define answer a will be our function and uh, in this function what we are going to do is first of all we create a list which will contain values in the forms of zeros and ones so as i said that we start by creating a list which will contain the values in the form of zeros and ones so it can also be handled in just one line so let's write z uh, which will be the name of our list and uh, what we are going to do is convert all the values of our list inside the list a into zeros and ones so what we can do is uh, we can say uh, use a variable say n and we can perform an and operation just as we talked about the and operations so we are going to and it with one and our n will be nothing but an iterator inside of our list a so what is going to happen in this case is that the list which we create that is z it will only contain the values in the form of zero and one and nothing else will be there so uh, you can try to print it as well it will return a value zero as one however we have not provided any kind of input yet so uh, wait for the final output you are going to understand what we are trying to do so uh, let's just comment a code here and uh, make yourself comfortable that this list will have all the values in the form of zero and one all right so now what we are going to do next is that since we need the index of the element where the odd one out exist so what we can do is say uh, we define it by the variable i which will be the index so what i want to do is uh, since we have an indefined function called as index which returns the index of an element we are going to search inside of our array so we can say z dot index and in the bracket what we are going to write is a logic which i will be explaining after writing so i write sum of z equal to equal to 1 plus 1 and then we are going to simply print i or our index value so now to explain you it in a much better manner consider the two list which we are considering here let's just comment uh, this part so let's first test our program and then we are going to explain you what is happening over here so uh, in this case uh, let's just start running our program and we say we pass 2 as the number second we pass number 6 and then we write the input 4 2 8 6 1 and 2 and the output is 5 which is the number 1 which index which is the number 1 that is the odd one out in the list provided second we try it with the uh, list which contains 7 values so we write 7 5 4 9 5 1 3 so you can see that the output here is 3 because the number 4 is the odd one out in the list since it is the only even number which exists and now let's look at the logic which we wrote here so to make you understand in a better manner consider this so we have say two lists uh, one which has the values 1 1 1 1 and 0 and we have a second list which will be uh, the list of even numbers so we write 0 0 0 0 1 and 0 now in this case what will be happening is that what we are trying to find in the line number 23 is that for even numbers if we look at the case when we are searching for the sum inside of our list that is the list z which we created we are looking for a value which adds up to the sum of equal to 1 so nothing but your index function is accepting a parameter which will be equal to 1 as you know that the index value which we are searching is either 1 or 0 since we converted our list in the form of zeros and ones and the number which is going to be evaluated after performing sum of z equal to equal to 1 operation is either 1 or 0 because it is nothing but a boolean value which is getting returned after evaluating that particular logic so anytime your sum is greater than 1 and it is not equal to 1 which means that the condition becomes false so the value which gets evaluated in that boolean function equals to 0 so z dot index and the index function accepts a value which is evaluated to false and false is nothing but 0 in language of computers so we are searching for a value 0 once we get the index we add a value 1 and then we print the value of i 
in the case of uh, the number wherein the sum adds up to 1 we know that the value is going to be true so in that case what we are going to find is the value whose index value is equal to 1 because in that case the boolean value is returned equal to 1 and we are finding the index of the value 1 so the index is returned in a zero base and then we are adding 1 to it and then we are going to print it so in that manner this program is working so i hope you understood the logic which is uh, working behind this program so if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to our channel and join our rebox family also subscribe to our telegram channel wherein we come up with different types of quiz in different streams so you can always practice and test your knowledge once again i would like to thank you for watching this video make sure to subscribe to the channel and as always keep learning and keep programming